Hi everyone, this question's come up a little bit recently. Uh, so I wanted to do a little how-to on sending Mintex workflow cloud tasks to Office 365 groups. A couple of things that you will need to take into consideration here. Tasks won't appear on my Mintex, and there is a little bit of configuration to do in Office 365 by virtue of the fact that Nintex Workflow Cloud is potentially seen as an external user. So your group has to accept and be able to respond to external email addresses. So we'll have a look at those settings first, and then we'll fire a task off to the group. I'm gonna start in my Office 365 Azure Active Directory, and I'm gonna create a new group. I'm going to choose an Office 365 group because I want an email address for that group. You'll see that if I select a security group, there's no email option there. And for the sake of this demo, we'll just call it uh, Chris's Variety Fun group. And that gives me the email address. No need to, for a description, but I am going to add uh, a couple of users to it. So I'm going to add the user that I'm logged in as here, which is SIAD, solution in a day. And I'm going to add a user account that I have access to, which is student. Let's create that group. So Chris's Friday Fun has been created. Um, we can jump now to the Exchange Admin Center. I've just deleted my last test one. And we'll go home and we'll just navigate to groups. And this is where we'll configure those email settings for that group email. So I'm under my Microsoft Office 365 groups and I want to select my Chris's Friday Fun group, which you'll see there. It's a bit slow to respond today. There's Azure having some Friday fun. And what we want to do is click on the members group just to verify that those are the two members in there. And we'll look at both of their email accounts. And what I want to do is allow external senders to email this group. I want to have accept messages from all senders and decline messages. We don't want to decline any messages from Nintex Workflow Cloud. Save. That's going to update that group. And the group is now ready for me to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the um, email address out to Notepad. So I've got it. And I'm going to jump to Nintex Workflow Cloud. So I'm in Nintex Workflow Cloud. I have a little email that's a uh, little workflow that's been semi-created. I'm just going to add the group task to it. And um, that should be the end of the solution. So it's just... a uh, simple leave request form that I've created date from date two with a duration. It's an authenticated form, so I don't need a user account. I'm going to format the date that comes in so it's a bit friendlier for my task. And I'm going to use this assign a task to multiple users. Drag that in. There's a couple of things here that I do want to configure. I'm just going to pop in a task name. So leave request for, and I'll just throw in the name of the person that kicked it off, first name, space, last name. I'm not going to have a description. I don't want a task form here, not required, um, but express approval is, which is that concept of responding with a keyword. My keywords here are approve and reject. Now I've got my completion rules here. All assignees must respond, which means anyone in the group uh, and when I tested this earlier, the, the task did not progress until my two parties had responded. Um, but I'm going to do my first response. Let's say this is going to the HR group and either of them, of the two members of that group can respond. Now I need to turn assignee authentication off for this to work and the verify responders email address will be off. Assignees is my group, Chris's Friday Fun at NTXTEO2. Assignment behavior will go parallel. Um, we want both members of the group to get it and sequential. Well, that's fine. Let's copy this sub for the subject of the email. And I'm just going to put something random in here. Uh, hello, HR. 
please review and respond to the leave request for and I'll just throw in that name again, workflow initiator, first name, space, last name. And I think I also did a calculation on there for days, but that's fine. That's all we need just to prove the point. We'll publish, group task publish. I'll open the form and just do a quick submission. And then we'll go to the instances tab in Intex Workflow Cloud just to make sure that it's actually triggering that email so let's say i want some leave from wednesday the first to friday the third submit has been submitted let's close that tab down i can close the designer i'm going to go to instances and i'm going to go to this running instance here so it's formatted data string and it's assigned the task to multiple users so what I want to do next is drag in my two mailboxes for solution in a day, which we will pop here and then we'll resize. And student, which is here. And it's got one email from Chris. And we're going to go down to, we're just going to refresh that one because it hasn't got the new group in there. And we'll maybe refresh this one so we get the groups. Chris is Friday fun. There's the group. Let's open up SIED, let's get the group. So you should see the email coming in for both of those quests. Here we go, welcome to the Friday fun email. Welcome to the Friday fun email. Hello HR, please review and respond to the leave request for a solution in a day. You may reply to this email with project for approved. Now if I go to the Hexage student, it's got the same email, so it's definitely sent the task to the group. Um, abracadabra, which one are we going to choose? Let's choose the student. We'll reply with the keyword approve and submit. So that's going to fire that task off. Um, it does do a reply all from Outlook groups, which means both parties will see the response. Interesting way to do it. Um, and then what we want to do is we just want to hop back to my Nintex Workflow Cloud Instances tab and let's see that one come through. Task has been approved, so the assign a task to multiple approvers, it's been completed. What I could do is go back as the student, just do a dummy approve. It should tell me that that, that task has already been approved, but you'll see that we're now able through that little bit of configuration in the exchange settings to issue tasks to Office 365 groups. Thanks very much for watching. Have a lovely weekend.